Okay, before we start, I want to give a big shout out to Amai's Face. Her channel is beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, she has a podcast, and she has a series called Beat TV where she talks about cartoons while she puts her makeup on. I really like her content and you should definitely go check her out. She used to have a sub-series of Beat TV called Bad TV Besties where she talks about bad friends in cartoons. I'm bringing all this up because today we're going to take a page out of her book and talk about a bad cartoon friend. Also, she subscribed to the channel and we're just really excited. Like I mentioned in my Book of Life video, I'm a huge fan of Jorge Gutierrez. He and his wife Sandra actually made El Tigre prior to Book of Life, which I've never heard of until after I saw Book of Life. So I went back and saw it and at the time I really liked it. I haven't seen the show again since recently and I'm so glad I am. I can't believe I forgot how great this show is. I'll talk more about the show at some point, but for now we're doing this. Frida Suarez. Jorge literally described her as Manny's shoulder devil, which is definitely true. I feel like calling Frida a bad friend is a bit of a stretch because she's really not that bad. I mean, both Manny and Frida have had their moments of being bad friends like Mordecai and Rigby. But among the episodes I very much remember of this show off the top of my head, this episode is the one that stands out to me of Frida being a crappy friend. So to me, this is Frida's worst moment of being a bad friend. Episode 11, Ballad of Frida Suarez. We start off with Manny and Frida leaving school. Frida tells Manny that she and her band are playing at the Battle of the Bands the next day and she still hasn't come up with a new song, so she needs to get home and write a song so she can't hang out that day. This is why we don't procrastinate. Manny still asks if she wants to go to the arcade for a bit and Frida says, okay, fine, but just for a couple minutes. And they end up staying there the whole day. Why is the sky so dark? We were in there for five hours. So Manny turns into El Tigre to get Frida home faster, but they hear a robbery on their way back. This robbery is being done by Sartana and her army of the dead, aka Zibalba and La Muerte's daughter. She's there to rob the town's supply of... Platinum? What, what is that? Oh, hold on, hold on, I, I, I need to look this up. Platinum. Oh, okay, um, so according to the internet, platinum is, um, one of the least reactive metals. If it's not that reactive, then why does she, why does she want it, you know? Like, I'm sure there's more radioactive, better substances to use. I don't know, it kind of seems like a wasted opportunity. Anyway, Manny and Frida show up just in time to stop Sartana. And can we talk about Frida's face when Manny uses her as a bowling ball? The police shows up and Sartana blames Manny for messing everything up, and uh... <laughs> Sartana and her army get away, and for obvious reasons, Manny tells Frida that nobody must know about what happened. So Frida goes home to write her song, but she falls asleep. The next day, it's the Battle of the Bands, and Frida is still not ready. So when she gets on stage, she tells her bandmates to just try and keep up with her. Fun fact! Frida's guitar is the same design as Manolo's old guitar. Frida starts playing, she says one line, and everyone just starts throwing tomatoes at her. Alright, tough crowd. From the crowd, Manny tells her that she's got this and to think of the fans. After seeing Manny's eyebrows fall off, I don't know, it's a whole thing, she comes up with a song and the lyrics describe how Sartana wiped the floor with El Tigre the other night. It has been four seconds and you already blabbed your friend's secret. And to top it off, Manny's identity as El Tigre isn't a secret, so everyone knows he's El Tigre. So the fact that she's talking about El Tigre, when you talk about El Tigre, everyone knows you're referring to Manny. It's not like Frida told a few people, no, she told the whole school. And in song! As you can imagine, Manny is humiliated. The song, however, was a huge hit and Frida becomes a bit of a local celebrity. Song and buggy, right? You're okay with it, right? Well, thanks dude, you're the best! Mwah. Yeah. Manny tries to feel better about the whole thing, saying, hey, this is Frida's dream to have a lot of fans, you know? She only sang the song one time, it's not like anyone will remember this. Yeah, no. Frida plays the song a whole lot more than once. And at this point, her song is a huge hit and Frida's band is extremely popular. 
So now, the whole town knows about Manny's embarrassing moment with Sardana. Poor boy will never live this down. Manny tries to talk to Frida about the whole thing, saying, hey, maybe people are getting kind of tired of the song. Frida gets mad and says he's jinxing her, and that the whole city will be watching the band on Caliente o Basura, which I think is like The Voice or um, American Idol, or like a talent music show kind of thing. Some, some reality type contest show, you know? I don't know. So Frida and her band play the song on the show and everyone watching hates it as it was so an hour ago. Yeah, okay, dude. The band gets kicked out of the building into the dumpster and Manny goes outside to comfort Frida and she snaps at Manny for quote, jinxing her. It's me. What? You totally trashed me and I still had your back. Hey, I put your name in an awesome hit song. Uh-huh. Call me when you remember how to be a friend again. Rewatching this episode, I'm kind of glad that the episode is calling out Frida for her actions. Like, yeah, you're riding the wave of fame, but at the expense of your friend's embarrassment. It's especially bad since he told you not to tell anyone. Not only did you slander your friend, but you broke a promise. Sardana shows up and Frida is cowering. Frida Suarez. <laughs> I'm sorry, that part is just funny to me. Sardana says she's not here to hurt her and she likes the song and that her fans were fools to leave her. So Sardana asks Frida to write another song that slanders El Tigre and she'll put on the concert of her dreams. Frida freaking flat out asks if Sardana has an ulterior motive, to which she says no and then they make a deal. Huh, that kind of sounds familiar. So they put together a live show for Frida's band, which they say is on the prison graveyard. Sardana of the Dead, whose whole shtick is death, put together a concert on the prison graveyard. Yeah, I'll let you figure that out for yourself. As soon as the show starts, Sardana shows up for her evil ulterior motive. Shocker. Skeleton hands pop up and pull the audience into the ground and Sardana threatens to keep everyone there until the city gives her their platinum? At least I'm pretty sure that's what her plan is, I don't really know. Now Manny is watching all of this on TV and he's like, nope, Frida and her fans deserve this, I'm not doing it, I'm not gonna save them, but then is like, okay fine. Sardana asks Frida to play her song and Frida sings a song that pretty much translates to piss off. Just then, El Tigre shows up and beats up the army of the dead. The eye from the giant Frida sign falls off and Manny is just hanging up there from the eye. Sartana is about to blast him off with her guitar when Frida plays her guitar really loudly and somehow gets Sartana's guitar. So Frida apologizes and Manny's like, for prioritizing your fame and selfishness over your friend. Uh, yeah, and for this. I can't believe I forgot how great this show is. Frida uses Sartana's guitar to get rid of Sartana's army, and I assume Sartana. I don't think they're actually killing Sardana with her being a celestial being and all. Maybe she just respawns, you know? Frida's goggles land by Manny's feet, making him think she's dead for a split second, but then she lands on top of him, looking like absolute crap. She sees her goggles and freaks out, and she's like, haven't I paid enough for being a jerk? And Manny's like, no but her guitar hits her in the head. A pineapple lands on her and rats eat off her face and Manny's like, that works. So yeah, that's the end of the episode. As I said at the beginning, this was Frida's worst moment as a friend. Becoming famous at the expense of your best friend's humiliation is just all kinds of wrong. And Manny was a real trooper this episode for not chewing Frida out when he had every right to because he just wanted to be supportive of his friend's dreams. I do like how it wasn't enough for Frida to help save the date. They still punished her a little bit. Like I said, both Manny and Frida have had their bad friend moments. 
like when it was Frida's birthday and Manny spent more time with Black Cuervo than her that was messed up but I think I'll save that for another day. There's still so much to unpack with this show in the Jorgeverse and I'm so excited to dive in. I'm really glad I'm watching this show again. I think it's even funnier than I remember it. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot when you watch my videos despite the terrible audio quality. I've wanted to make this video last month but for a couple of reasons I had to keep pushing it back but we're good now. Don't forget to check out Amaya's face and send her some love and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and until then I'll be in the fandom zone. Bye! Girl, you're such a backstabber. You're such a backstabber. You're such a shit talker and everybody knows that, everybody knows that girl. You're such a backstabber. You're such a backstabber around your mouth more than anyone I've ever known. And everybody knows that, everybody knows that.